Barricade, easy to install, concrete crack repair system. Barricade concrete repair kits have been designed and engineered to seal, fill, and structurally reinforce concrete. Before getting started, make sure to gather and wear the appropriate safety gear. You will need safety goggles, a safety mask, and gloves. You will also need to gather the required tools. The steps required for installing the crack injection kit are 1. Surface preparation 2. Identifying port locations 3. Port installation 4. Crack covering 5. Injection 6. Cleanup Each kit will fix approximately one wall crack that measures 4 to 5 feet long, 1 16th to 1 8th inches wide, and 8 inches deep. Step 1. Surface preparation Examine the crack that is being repaired. Lay drop cloth or cardboard on the floor. Clean the crack and immediate surrounding areas with a wire brush or use a grinder, hammer drill, and dust extractor if the area requires further preparation. Step 2. Port locations. Mark port locations approximately every 6 to 12 inches, starting 4 inches from the bottom of the crack. The tighter the crack, the closer the port should be. For a typical 8-inch thick concrete wall, ports should be installed every 8 inches and no closer than 6 inches. Thinner slabs may allow for 12 inches. Step 3. Port Installation Detach the port cap from the side of the port and set it aside. Do not discard the port plugs as they will be used later in the installation. Wearing gloves, insert the cartridge into the caulking gun. Dispense a small amount of surface paste onto a disposable work surface, such as cardboard or a painter's tray. Epoxy should be hand-mixed before application with a plastic putty knife. Roll the entire flat edge of the port in the surface paste. Make sure the hole for the port is not plugged with epoxy. Pressing firmly, place the port directly over the crack at previously marked locations. The final port location needs to be below the outside grade of the structure. Small cracks coming off the main crack will need to be covered with surface paste. Step 4. Cover the crack. Dispense approximately one-third of the tube of the surface paste onto the disposable work surface, adding more as needed. Epoxy should be hand-mixed before application with a plastic putty knife. Apply the surface paste over the entire crack, ensuring there are no gaps for the polyurethane to leak out during injection. Feather the epoxy approximately two inches or more on both sides of the crack. At port locations, apply the epoxy around the entire port until the port base is no longer visible. Step 5. Injection. Once the surface paste has initially cured after approximately two to three hours, the crack is ready to inject. If a screwdriver can dent the epoxy, it is not fully cured. Environmental conditions play a role in how long it takes to cure, and a hardness test should be done before the injection. Insert the injection expanding foam into the caulking gun, remove the cap, and screw on the nozzle. Starting at the bottom port, push the static mixing nozzle into the port until you feel a click. Dispense the product slowly until you see it coming out of the next highest port. Remove the nozzle and close off the port with the cap. Please note that injection may take up to four minutes or longer per port. The tighter the crack, the longer the polyurethane will take to flow into it. Patience is key. Insert into the next port and repeat the process, working your way along the crack port by port. Once injected, the polyurethane expands 15 times its volume to fill all voids within the crack. Step 6. Cleanup. It may take 12 to 24 hours for the epoxy to cure before you can remove the ports. Once the surface paste and injection expanding foam have cured, remove the ports from the wall using a hammer. When the polyurethane is fully cured, you will have a water-resistant repair. Barricade. Easy to install concrete crack repair system.